as far as the reality of bus life for us this year and finishing the build in time for us to travel all around Australia. Hello friends, I thought I would sit down for a minute and chat to you all about what's been going on the last few weeks um, or more so the last month and some of the plans going forward. So as you guys know, officially we are on the road and we're down here in Victoria. Some of you thought that was a bit strange given how cold it is here at the moment and sometimes we do feel a little crazy but there's good reason why we're down here and that's kind of why I wanted to sit down. So we're down in Victoria for a few main reasons. One, we have a lot of friends down here who are electricians and that was that next step that we needed to do for the bus before we could move forward. So it made sense for us to come down here for that. I think I mentioned in a different video as well that being able to go to the engineer and convert the bus from a bus to a motor home was a lot cheaper and an easier process down here as well so that was one of the other reasons and we have a lot of family and friends down here as well so we've kind of come down to victoria at the moment as more of a test drive with the bus and to try out this lifestyle to finish off the build and I, I guess that's something that I haven't quite mentioned in the last few videos um, is that as far as the reality of bus life for us this year and finishing the build in time for us to travel all around Australia, it hasn't quite gone as I had expected and mind you, my expectations were very unrealistic to the reality of the process. The, the build itself has taken as long as it has because we're buying things secondhand and so we're having to find them and we're having to wait for them. We're doing this whole build on a budget as well, which means we can't we can't sacrifice our funds to pay services to do things for us. We have to do a lot ourselves and just learning, practicing and doing the jobs takes a lot longer in general because of that. Now, we're at a point with the build where all of the big bulk things are finished. We actually have electricity now. So our 240 volt was connected by one of our friends who generously came down and helped us out for the day with that. It was a big drive and we are so appreciative because it means we don't have to have power cables running everywhere. We've got switches and it just looks so good. It looks so homely. We went and picked up some seats as well um, and we've been installing them so that when we go see the engineer at the end of the week, we finally have a day booked with our engineer. Um, when we go and see him, he'll be able to tick everything off and hopefully give us our certificate, which will allow us to go from a bus to a motor home as a classification for this vehicle. Um, and then that will get us to our final step in this whole process. So engineers booked, electricity's done, air conditioner's in, heater is in, um, kitchen is done, bathroom is done, like big things have been ticked off. Yes, it's now June, the end of June, and I was expecting this to all be done by maybe end of April, but really that was unrealistic. We've pushed it back two months. We're still, I reckon, about a month away from being registered and like officially on the road. So at the moment, we're able to get permits to move from one place to another, but it's kind of forcing our hand where we're having to stay put in one place for longer than maybe we would want or other people might want. Um, and so that's why we're kind of taking the opportunity to stay with friends and family. And honestly, it's been really wonderful. I feel like if we had gone straight onto our big trip um, and gone to see, you know, everyone else and gone and seen all the other places, we wouldn't have fully taken advantage of the fact that right here, right now, we're working at a slower pace, we're moving at a slower pace, and that's allowing us to actually spend quality time with the people closest to us. I think that's so important to make time for your people first before you make time for, you know, seeing a new place. 
So I've come to terms with that the first few weeks of realizing that our plan was not going to play out the way I had thought it would um, was a bit challenging, but I've accepted that this is just the reality of how things move. So as I mentioned, we're seeing the engineer at the end of the week and whether I include it in this video or a separate video, I'll talk you guys through that process and what it means um, and whether we have to do any fixes or um, changes before we get our certificate. But then once that's done, we should be working towards our roadworthy. And this is the final step in our process to get us out on the road. This means doing things like repairing our windscreen. It means making sure that the engine is in working condition, the tires, like all of that stuff. Like there's a lot of things to do. Sam has enlisted the help of his dad and hopefully that goes through. We've got some friends that have some knowledge about trucks and diesel mechanic stuff as well. So hopefully we'll be able to pick their brain. Sam's got some experience with, you know, servicing cars and things as well. So some of the skills might be transferable. And then of course, there's lots that we can learn too. At the end of doing everything that we can do, like changing light globes and all the little things like filters, we'll be able to take it into a diesel mechanic and they'll be able to do any of the big things or things that we cannot do in order to get our roadworthy certificate there. And then it'll be taking the bus over to Vic Roads and finally finishing that whole process, which is really exciting. So we're really, really close now but we are going to probably take the rest of this year as it is to do more of a trial run of our bus trip. This is going to be more dedicated to seeing family and friends and kind of taking it at our own pace to just adjust to being on the road, adjust to having this lifestyle where we're self-sufficient and off-grid but also needing to rely on other people or um, on amenities like filling up water and you know plugging into mains whether it's at a caravan park or a friend's house or whatever it may be um, and then I think we will start making plans for a bigger trip in 2025 so what I am going to do is still send out a um, form to anyone that said that they wanted us to stop in uh, from Queensland, Victoria or New South Wales and that way we can just get a few more details of like logistics like you know space to park the bus and how long you can handle us bothering you for and things like that because that's going to make planning the trip a lot easier as well. Now. I can't say in definite terms that we'll be doing too much traveling outside of family and friends um, and caravan parks this year, but next year we've got big plans for our trip and I think it just makes sense to slow down and plan it through properly. As far as the big trip goes and even potentially um, towards the later part of this year as well, if we've got our footing right and um, everything goes well with the roadworthy and everything else, if the trip starts early and we get to actually fully explore, I have created like a Google Forms questionnaire. So if there is anyone out there, um, I know a lot of you guys did reach out when we last put out a post like this, um, asking if there's anyone that has a homestead or a farm where we can park the bus um, and organize meetups and stuff. A lot of you guys did reach out and so starting that process of actually figuring out the logistics of where we can go with the bus and for how long for. Um, I have created this questionnaire where it just asks you a few more specific questions. So if you are one of those people that reached out, um, I'll reach back out with an email and send you that form. If there's anyone else that is watching now that if this is the first time that you're hearing of this, um, we are planning a big trip around Australia, whether we do it in parts or as a full next year, I still don't know. But as we start working towards that goal, this questionnaire asks things like, you know, how long you're happy for us to stay there for, whether you have access to flat land, water, power, 
Um, a few other questions like, you know, do you feel comfortable being on camera if we're going to film? Have you got any projects you're working on that we can showcase on our channel, which is one of the main goals for going on this big trip and sharing it with you guys. We, it's kind of like a business trip where we want to be not only meeting and learning from you guys, homesteaders, farmers, sustainability enthusiasts, um, but we also want to showcase this on our channel, whether it's just through, you know, our weekly videos as we have been doing um, or whether we turn it into a feature film similar to what Justin Rhodes and his family did. Um, the opportunities are endless, but mind you, with planning such a big trip and, you know, the logistics of working or being around other people, uh, it's important that we've got all of these questions kind of answered so that it makes the process super easy for us, especially for a control freak and a huge planner like me. <laughs> the more information I have, the better. So if you are someone that's interested on hosting the bus, if you want us to come and check out the projects you're working on, maybe lend a hand. We're not builders, we're not going out there to do projects for people, but we would love to be a part of what you're doing. So reach out through our email. Um, I should have it down below. If not, it's dianandsamson at gmail.com. Reach out. I'll get back in contact with you with that form. I will also link the form down below. So go and check it out. If it's for you, great. Fill it out. Fill it out with as much information as you can. Um, if it's not for you, that's fine too. It might inspire you to do your own thing or yeah, just thanks for listening if you're here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so pumped and so excited to do this next part and to go on this trip. It's been, it's been a journey. <laughs> There's been so much learning in so many different ways. And so far we're really loving what we're able to do and just the opportunity to be out and yet at home at the same time, having the boys with us everywhere we go. And I think what we're enjoying more than anything is being so reliant on ourselves and one another. I think what we've been able to achieve together is truly extraordinary. And I even said to Sam, like, never had I imagined that I would be able to accomplish what we have together in the last four years. The opportunities that we've presented to one another, the, the people that we've met, that we've talked to, the people we've been able to reconnect with or to connect with once more. Um, yeah, I truly love being in Victoria at this time of the year. It's been cold. It's been gloomy on some days with the rain and the fog, but being so close to family and friends that we've grown up with is like having that opportunity thanks to this bus has been amazing because our home, our heart is still in New South Wales. We are definitely planning to go back one day and we plan to go back for the summer, but having the opportunity to go and visit everyone else again and share this lifestyle in whatever way we can has been it's been special so thank you for staying patient with us thank you for listening to this little chatty <laughs> section of the video um, I hope it sheds light on what's been happening and what's going to continue happening. There's definitely still a strong desire to do a full trip of Australia it's just that the logistics of it all and the reality of it is not only terrifying, but it should really be planned out. And um, yeah, I don't feel any shame, I guess, in saying that out loud because at first it felt like a failure to not be traveling when I thought we would be, but really we are traveling. We're just doing it slower. There's no point in rushing it. There's plenty to see. There's plenty of time to see it in. And yeah, I hope you guys understand. And if you don't, well, <laughs> this is our life and that's just the way it's going to be. So yeah, I am going to miss having milk on tap, but our next destination is actually going to be to Ballarat, which is where our engineer is, um, where our next stop and our friends are. And um, 
yeah, let's hope everything goes smoothly with the roadworthy side of things. Although, <laughs> if, uh, if the past has anything to do with it, if it has any evidence into the future, then there probably will be some hurdles to jump over, but I think it's something we can handle. <laughs>